As you can see, I'm traveling nice and light. These trout, they're gonna be in trouble. There is nothing better than a coffee and a tackle shop first thing in the morning. I'm with Eddie Fraker, we're in New Zealand, Lumsden. Whereabouts is Lumsden? Well, Lumsden's in the Southland region on the South Island of New Zealand, so kind of middle of the bottom of yep. the South Island. Uh, and today we're going to go and fish the Mtara River, which is probably New Zealand's most famous brown trout fishery. And uh, we've just stopped in to get a couple of bits and pieces. And if that coffee doesn't get your heart started, the, the brown trout probably should give you a good run. Seriously, brown trout fishing on fly New Zealand, one of my favourite things in the entire world to do. Cheers. Let's go do it. Let's nail it. burns off mate and we get a bit of sun later on. So this is us mate. This is us, this is the Matara, one of the world's most renowned brown trout fisheries. It's a pretty special place. That's pretty epic to be standing on the shoreline of one of the best fly fishing rivers for brown trout in the world. Yep. Is it a big river? It's 190 kilometres long. Uh, it starts up at the bottom of Lake Wakatipu and flows down through here through Gore and and out into the ocean. So it does get sea run browns down the bottom, but up here it's all resident browns and yeah, they're good fish. So. Well, my mission today is to fish every one of those 190 kilometres until I see every fish this river holds. Where do we start, mate? I reckon this riffle down here looks just perfect. I don't know what a riffle is, but let's hit it. <laughs> so we've just seen a really nice fish in pretty deep water, but it's perfect spot. That's good, leave that. Should have seen it, but didn't move. Another fish has just moved in behind him. We've just seen a second fish move into this pool. Not interested in the dry fly at all, so we're gonna try and nip. Yeah, good cast, leave that. Oh, he's nymphing really well now. He's come right over on the left. Drifting back to his on station now. Okay. Got him. Nice. Oh, how cool is Just that? Just that line if he needs it. Yep. That was such a good take. <laughs> nice, mate. Well done. And what was that, the third nymph? Yeah, the third one. Yep. That is so cool. Oh. Keep that rod up if you can. Yep. Try not to point the rod at him. Yep. Good. And Get he's that. just gone to that heavy, fast water. And that is why this is so epic. Oh, it's about the hunt, isn't it, Eddie? That's it, mate. Just, you'll have to put the brakes on him if you if he gets really into that willow. Yep. Just keep that rod up if you can, get that maximum shock absorption out of that rod. Yep, and I saw that dry fly go down, and the dry fly, it's pretty much an indicator, isn't it? Yeah, 100%, yep. It's a good indicator, obviously, when he eats it, but also, just back that drag off a little bit, mate, yep. but also, just a really good indicator of where your nymph is in general. And he came quite a long way downstream to eat that. To eat it. Yep. There he is, keep that head in the current. Yeah, that's it. I yep. should be able to slowly lead him your way. Yep. Nice fish, real healthy. Nothing but net. Well done, mate. That is how we roll. Come and check out this fish. Seriously, one of my favourite things in the world is what just happened. It's a nice one. It's a really oh, good nick. What a beautiful fish. They're all in good nick here, though, aren't they? Yeah, I mean, it's, there's, there's plenty of tucker for them. So wet the hands, always. And that is a beautiful brown trout. Look at that. Yeah, now, a couple of pounds. He's a couple of pounds. Yeah. Brown trout, like newborn babies, are always measured in pounds, aren't they? And that sun's just come out, so I'm excited for two reasons. Reason number one, you get to see the beautiful coloration of this fish. Reason number two, sun means our job's going to be a lot easier. It is with that sun out, that's for sure. Sun's out, trout's out. Well, as you can see, this fish is ready to rock and roll. It's been reviving itself in the net just beautifully. That fish is going to go. Look at that, Charlie. He's going to go quick. What a beautiful fish. I love these things so much. I don't know what it is about brown trout. But they are very, very special fish. And the best thing, just around that corner, there's a few more with my name on them. 
for two of the flies that that fish had a look at. One of them at eight and the other one it didn't. This first one had a look at that, didn't want to eat it. And then we threw the little brown latex nymph in front of it and he came and ate it. So you can see what they're eating is quite small. Little nymphs, little invertebrates that live under the rocks and they can be pretty fussy sometimes. We've got two fish here, mate. We've got one just off this willow, about two feet off this willow, and then another one feeding a little bit further. He's just gone left, right yes. out to the middle there to eat something. So we've got two fish feeding here, it makes it tricky, but for every fish we come across, Eddie, there's a plan. Yep. What's the plan for this? Well, I think the best way, because of this willow here, yep. we're going to get in, or you can get in, and come up from behind them, and you'll get a nice clear shot. Sounds like a plan. I'm getting in. So this is what fly fishing in New Zealand is all about. It's teamwork. I'm going to stay up here in this nice high bank while Paul's down there in the water. From down there, he's not going to have the same visibility that I've got up from up here. So I can call the strike from up here, let him know, and hopefully he can come up tight. Yeah, good cast. It dries on the fish now. Too far? That's, it's probably a good length. You're coming down three feet to his right. That's good. Coming. Go! Got him! Nice fish. That's a nice fish. That was a really good take, Eddie. Now, I got a pretty good view of that. You must have seen it pretty awesome from there. Yeah, just drifted over to his left nicely. It was good. That is awesome. So what I'm doing now is just trying to pick up the line that's in the river keeping that rod up and keeping him out of those willows. Now I can fight him off the reel. Yeah, there's a couple of fish there and that can get a bit tricky sometimes. They start having a bit of a turf war, but worked it out in the end. He's actually just spooked another fish out from under that willow. I'll come down with him, mate. I'll come down to some yep. shallower water. Just stay level with him. And it's just that constant pressure, mate. Nothing yep. fancy. He's well hooked. Just, he's a nice fish. He's a solid fish. This is just so special. I know I sound like Bruce McAvaney. G'day Bruce, love your work but it really is just amazing. I do a lot of fishing and this is up there. It is just such an art. Watch out for that bank. There's a couple of nasty things you can get into there. That's oh, it. that's a beautiful fish. Yeah, he's a ripper. What a cracker. Now, is this the big one we saw or another one? Uh, this is a slightly smaller one. Oh, wow. As funny as it may seem. Yep. But that, that other fish that took off was, he was probably a bit bigger than this one, but there's nothing wrong with a three and a half pound brown mm -hmm. on a day like today, ah. sight fished. He's right in the lip, mate. Just nice short line. That's it. Come down. <laughs> that Beautiful, is mate. Well done. So good. Awesome. So good. Well done. To see like all those fish there. I reckon we saw five different fish. Spooked one, bigger one moved off, and then you catch this thing. That's why this is such a world-class fishery. That is amazing. It's a beautiful fish, Eddie. What are you thinking? It's just under four pound, I reckon. Just under four pound of beautiful New Zealand brown trout. The brown trout was released into these waters in 1867. Those fish come from Tassie stocks. That's right. And those stocks, three years earlier, come from Great Britain. It's an incredible story. So New Zealand, we've got one on you. They're our trout. Just kidding. <laughs> Letty, you can do the honours, my friend. Thanks, mate. Well done, Paul. Great fish. Very, very happy with that. And look at him there, sitting on station. See you, mate. <laughs> amazing is this have a look I've got a trout sitting just in here then I've got three trout in a row one two three I think the big guys over there we're about to put some nymphs over them seriously to stand this close to wild animals oh there's a big one just moved in here look next to me about two meters there is a monster fish just sitting there that is huge now I'm not going to move too much he doesn't know I'm here but that fish is a serious four to five pounds at the moment I can see five big brown New Zealand trout. Holy stabbing trout. That one's out there still. Just run this nymph where he hasn't had a look at it yet. Probably not far enough up, that's on him now. Coming. Yep, yep. got him. Ah. What's the chances? <laughs> <laughs> We've been fishing this spot 
We can't go down there. It's too deep. Right. So I'll bring, <laughs> so I'll bring you back this way. We've been fishing this spot for about 45 minutes. We've seen about, what, 10 different trout? Mm, about that. And uh, I just convinced the boys to put the drone down because I said, we've shown these fish. Look at this. I'm a little bit, I'll be tangled here, but, but I'm doing okay. <laughs> Are you good? It only hurts when I think. I just convinced the boys to bring the drone down because the battery was getting low. And there's a thing called Murphy's Law. As soon as we brought it down, bang, Keep that this up. fish ate the nymph. Unbelievable. Oh, he's a spotty fish. He's oh! oh! He's silver. He's silver. He just did a bit of a porpoise there. Oh, this fish has just got incredible power. And they're obviously very fit and very healthy because there's some good food in here. Oh, there's a lot of food, yeah. I mean, that's, that's the thing. I mean, that's what makes the New Zealand fishery so special is you've got lots of water, really good rainfall, yep. and lots of clean water. So that's yep. that, that's Speaking the, of clean water, yep. when we got here this morning, the river seemed a bit dirtier. Yep. Is it actually cleared as we've gone through the day? Well, you would have seen, I mean, as we came down in the car yesterday, we got a really good dump of rain, which, which is good. And you can't complain too much about when it rains in New Zealand, because that's what makes this fishing so good. There's plenty of water, so there's plenty of fish. But that, that rain that we had built up overnight, and just, just discoloured the water a little bit, but it's starting to clear this afternoon, and with that sun out, we're really starting to see a few fish. Here we go. We're gonna, I'll slowly walk him up, mate. He'll just come straight but to you. But if you can lift his head, we'll be all right. Plenty of tactics here. He's just swimming up into the, up into the current now. He's probably gonna get a look, look at me and take off again, I reckon. I'd take off too if I saw you. <laughs> there he is, that's a nice fish. That's the way. Keep him coming. Oh, no. Second time's a charm. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, what I love about this fish is the effort we put into catching him. He's a good fish. Yeah, he's actually, yeah, yeah. he might be a bit closer I reckon to the you, ball. I, I reckon you might have it at three let's, and a half. We'll let's, have a look. Let's weigh him and just see how good I am. But that was just sensational. Like seriously, I said to Eddie before, that, that trout that I caught before, we snuck up, cast. Yep. As long as I live, I'll never forget it. I don't know why, but you just never forget every fish you catch, every special fish. Yep. And in New Zealand, every single trout is super special. Just, uh, that, is, that, is, that is a big fish. That is solid. He's in really good nick. <laughs> a bit like me. I reckon I could be a New Zealander or a Kiwi, same thing. What have we got there? You said three and a half. Oh, look at that, mate. Oh, he's in the water oh, a little bit. It's three and oh. a half on the nail. There you go. If you don't mind, dump on. <laughs> Hooks out? Hooks out, mate. Ready Beautiful. to go. Now, I want you to tell me, is this a male or a female brown trout? That is, that's a jack. Just starting to form a little kite there on his bottom jaw, which is that little hook jaw that the males get. So, a kite? A kite. K-I-P-E. K-Y-P-E. Like I said, K-Y-P-E. <laughs> you learn something every day. Off you go, Mr. Jackie Kite. I love these things. And look at that in that water. New Zealand, brown trout on fly. Seriously, how good is it? Yeah, it was fantastic today. Today was all about sight fishing and teamwork, and that's what fly fishing over here is all about. Today, it just reminded me I need to do this more and more and more. Remember, Hurley's fly fishing. Seriously, how good is it, Eddie? As good as it gets, mate. 11 out of 10. I'm loving his work. <laughs>